In this video, we're going to do what I call chain chain, where we have a chain rule inside of another chain rule. In our first example, sine cubed 3x squared, we're going to think of sine cubed in this fashion to show clearly the first inside function and then our second inside function or outside function is like x cubed. So we start dy dx equal to 3 squared because x cubed is 3x squared. Don't change the inside. Multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, now that is also chain rule. We have inside function, outside function. So the derivative of sine is cosine. Don't change that inside function. Multiply by the derivative of our inside function, 6x. I would probably bring this out in front. So I have dy dx is equal to 18x sine cubed 3x squared. I'm going to bring that 2 back to its original position. Cosine 3x squared. In our second example, again, I'm going to think of this as the inside function to the fourth power. So we have inside. Outside is like x to the fourth. Derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed. So dy dx is equal to 4 something cubed. Don't change the inside. So cosine root x times the derivative of the inside. Well, now notice we have an inside function of root x, outside function of cosine. Derivative of cosine, negative sine. Don't change that inside. Multiply by the derivative of our inside function, which is 1 over 2 root x. I would do a little simplifying at this point. This 2 can cancel out and reduce. So now dy dx is equal to, I'm also going to move that negative out front. So I have a negative 2 cosine cubed root x, moving this to its original position, sine root x all over root x. In our third example, our inside function is sine x squared, outside function root x, dy dx is equal to, the derivative of root x is 1 over 2 root, don't change the inside function, multiply by the derivative of the inside function, derivative of sine is cosine, don't change the inside, multiply by the derivative of the inside, I can cancel these twos, and dy dx is equal to cosine x squared over root sine x squared. In our last example, it looks like this is quotient rule, but what I would do is I would rewrite this as a negative exponent, cosine of 2x to the negative 2. Now we can use chain chain. So our inside function, cosine 2x, our outside function we're going to think of as x to the negative 2. So I have dy dx is equal to derivative of x to the negative 2 would be negative 2 something to the negative 3. Don't change the inside function. Multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Derivative of cosine negative sine. Don't change the inside function. Multiply by the derivative of the inside function, giving us 2. I'm going to move the 2 out in front and this negative out in front. dy dx is equal to, now notice I have a negative exponent there. 
So I'm going to move that to the bottom. So I have a double negative here. So that's going to make a positive 4 sine 2x. And then on the bottom, I've got cosine cubed 